Hi everyone, I'm Sherry. Let's talk about your Poshmark closet. I've got some tips to organize your closet and take better photos and to get more sales on Poshmark. Please bear with me, this is only like my third video and I had to write everything in notes. So if you see me looking down, that's I'm trying to catch my notes. Okay. I believe what I have to share with you will help you get more sales. So number one, take lots of pictures, not just one. So many times I see like a shirt for sale and it's folded up and that's all you see. You can't see the whole item. Um, and there's one photo. So take pictures, you wanna take it folded up, fine. But then hang it on the wall or a mannequin or something and get the whole item so someone can see the whole thing. Um, also, use square mode on your camera because when Poshmark uploads the photos, it's in square mode. That's why it cuts off a lot of people's photos and you don't have the whole picture. <laughs> okay. Um, you don't need to buy an expensive mannequin if you're just starting out or if it's just a hobby and you're just selling your own clothes or whatever. You can hang them on the hanger on a wall. Um, you can lay them flat on a nice surface. Um, I like to use the mannequin for the tops and dresses. And then my jeans, I will kind of half fold and hang. I'll half fold and picture them and then I'll hang and picture them so you can see the whole jeans and then you could see them folded nicely. So, but if you don't have the money for a mannequin, don't buy it. Just hang them on the wall. <laughs> it, as long as it's a nice background and the pictures look good and you take lots of photos, you're gonna still sell your item. Okay. Number two, make sure the background is clean. So many times I've seen people's Poshmark closet pictures or, and you see this messy room in the background or it's hanging in their bathroom or on the closet wall but you can see all these clothes everywhere and it's just it's not nice okay it's you're you're selling nice clothing you want it to look nice hang it on a white wall a tan wall if you want to do flat lay on a rug Fine, just make sure that the background looks good. Make sure that there's not a bunch of stuff looking yucky in the background or clothes hanging everywhere or thrown everywhere. That just, it doesn't look good and it's not gonna help your sales. Okay. Number three, don't put a bunch of stuff with your photos. I've seen items that are like one item and they got like 10 things around it. And fine if you wanna add a scarf or a necklace with a top, or you know, I've seen people adding pants with a shirt, but preferably as a Poshmark buyer, I just wanna see the item I'm buying. It's fine if you add a few embellishments, just don't go overboard. No one's buying 10 items. Just put the item you're selling with a nice photo and maybe a cute background or maybe a, like, you know, I've seen people do flowers or uh, just anything like that. That's fine. Just don't go overboard. Number four, take measurements, please. So many, things that I have actually wanted to buy as a plus size girl. I'm not going to buy anything without measurements. Remember that Poshmark does not accept returns unless you have failed to mention something or it's damaged or this or that, but they don't accept returns just because it doesn't fit. And every size is different. You could have a 2X that is tiny and a 2X that is way too big. So take measurements of the length across the armpits, the bust area, 
Um, some people even like the arm length. I don't add that. I add the length and across the armpits usually. Um, but yeah, everybody, I, I've had lots of things that I've wanted to buy and I've actually asked, hey, what's the length of this? And I never hear back from them. Well, hey, you just lost a sale because you didn't add the length or even answer the question. If you add the measurements when you take the listings, you don't have to do it later or answer everybody's questions about it. So please put the measurements in. Okay, also, a lot of people wanna know the material of the item. So I'll either take a picture of the tag or I will, um, in the listing, put the material, cotton, whatever, you know. Okay, and number five, try to fill up all the pictures. Poshmark gives you eight pictures. Um, and it's nice to see the front, the back, the side. Uh, you know, even if you're just putting four or five, so many items I see that you can't even see the whole item. You see like a front and that's it. And you're like, hey, I would like to see this whole shirt or this whole dress. You know, t hang it on the wall, stand back, put it in square mode and take a picture of the whole item. Then take more close up pictures is what I like to do. And one more tip for you guys, organize your closet. Every time I organize my closet, it seems like I make a sale. So I like to keep everything nice and organized, like, you know, wallets, purses, tops, jeans, dresses, you know, whatever like that. And I usually put men's at the bottom. <laughs> but anyways, however you want to organize your closets, fine. But if you keep it nice and organized, it seems like you get more sales and more shares for some reason. Anyways, I hope all these tips helped you and I hope you find my content um, good for you. If you like it, like and subscribe. I'm new to YouTube, but I do plan on making more videos. Um, I also make videos about law of attraction and sometimes prepping. Uh, it just depends on what I feel like doing. I sell on um, Poshmark mostly right now. But I have sold on Amazon. I sell on eBay sometimes when I feel like it. But I really love Poshmark because I love how um, it's kind of like a community too. And so um, hopefully these tips helped you. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.